All right, n now we're back with Trauma Center. So after Just Let Me Die, we have reasons why. I found a reason to show. These are all just named <laughs> off of emo songs, aren't they? <laughs> um, <laughs> probably. It, it's that. It's the. It's kind of a depressing uh, part of the story. Oh look, there's one right now. <laughs> Yeah, well, that that was the girl we just operated on. She's one of the only patients uh, that, you know, matters. Well, kind of matters. She she has a character arc that lasts all of five minutes, but still, you know, they, they try. So, yeah. Um, though there is actually a reason why she's all depressed and stuff. It, it's ca it's not a natural thing, or, though, uh, or not entirely a natural thing. It's caused by her illness. Like, the depression is a side effect of it. Um... Uh, more uh, mostly. And what is she? She just what? She just is her she's life suicide, sucks. She's suicidal. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And that's why Angie and, will never make it as a psychologist. No, Angie basically said the worst thing you could ever say yeah. to a suicidal right. person. Yeah, just go ahead and die. Don't do that. I people. dare you. Yeah, that is. You do not say that to. Ugh, man, that yeah. So Derek handles it a little bit better um, here. You know, so he he basically said he tells him a story about his cat. Um, all right, and you know he let his cat die by accident, and he said he wanted to kill himself, and then his mom slapped him. So I fed him the wrong food. <laughs> I fed him the wrong food. No, I think the cat like got ran over by a car or something. Ooh. Um. And so like so yeah he actually so yeah he does heal psychological scars. Now tell him you're oh. sorry. Okay. Yeah. I think it'd be a little bit, uh, you know, these visual novel sections, you know, I don't mind them most of the time, but I think it would help if there were more portraits, I guess, because really only got like two or three. Yeah, and a lot of they don't don't have any. I mean, they don't have, have that one. many emotes, do they? No. At least they don't do the Tohovania putting a little icon over their head. When they're <laughs> no, <laughs> well, at, at least yeah. Tohovania has the excuse that it's freeware, but... Yeah, yeah. this game Well, th this game also needed, probably was rushed uh, to get out for a Wii launch, because it came out a year after the original. So, you know, it was it was a, a pretty rushed game, but... Um, uh oh, know, a we few seriously more have help. two non-gameplay chapters in a row? Yeah, basically. Again, this was less um, jarring in the original because it just went right from one to the other and there wasn't a stage... Well, there was a stage select screen, but it was basically just the challenge mode and they only had the uh, the operation challenges there. Um, uh. Here, you know, it's just... Uh, they just have the, the, the stage select screen. Again, this is the only game that does this, so I forgive it somewhat for that. But, uh, because, you know, they learn their mistakes relatively, uh, early. And, um, and in a lot of ways it does prevent a syndrome coming from, uh, that happens later in the series. Like, in New Blood, there's a lot of chapters where there's just a whole lot of plot stuff going on. And then at the end, you know, there'll be a random car accident because, oh shit, we need an operation now. Game oh, yeah. play. <laughs> it, yeah, so th there's a lot of filler operations in in a lot of other games, which, you know, I don't mind either, because, you know, it's just another a thing to do, but, you know. Um, you need the game to actually have a game. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, hold on. Did we, um... What chapter did we start here? Did we start Please Let Me Live? Please Let Me Live. Okay, yeah, this is where we start getting into, you know, plot. Um, so, Alien zombie cancer? Well, not zombie cancer yet. Zombie cancer is bullshit, by the way. I fucking hate that mission. Um... No, we're, no, um, so yeah, we're about to, um, operate again. So she's all like, ah, my, my heart, my chest area. So yeah. You're tearing me apart, suicide! <laughs> yeah, so, well, no, she's, she's not suicidal anymore. She wants to live. So that, that, you know, the name, please let me live. So, uh -huh. yeah, so now we're going to find out why the hell lacerations are appearing in her lungs for no reason. Because there is a reason. Discover the source of the lacerations. Yeah. Have aliens taken over her body? Then <laughs> we switch to a Gradius spinoff. Maybe. What? <laughs> um. Oh, well, you'll you'll see. It, it just. Oh Jesus a Christ! Of, a couple of seconds. So. Again, <laughs> Awesome Center wasn't lying to you. <laughs> I, 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 sometimes I can't tell. Um. Well, you'll you'll see. You'll see. 
Okay, so yeah, we open up, and it's not the same exact set of cuts, but it's similar, so... It's- this part basically works the same as the last operation where we did, where you just gotta, you know, um... You know, heal our... Uh, there is a 99 uh, vital cap in this, uh, mission, though, so... In a lot of missions, where you start off with lower vitals, before you make any, uh, your incision, I recommend, uh, pumping that up to max, <laughs> because when you're... Making your incision, there's no injuries on screen, so the vitals won't ever go down. I know, logic, but whatever. So, GASP! Cuts are appearing out of nowhere. So, yeah. Um, where, where is it? There it is! Aliens are taking the... over her body! You should <laughs> have gum to zo stop them! What the hell is that? Aliens. It reminds That's me guilt. of Final Fantasy, the spirits within. Jesus. It's guilt. You, uh, oh, they, I haven't they seen make... that in years. Yeah, there's, um, little, they're little parasites, they make, the, these ones make cuts in her body, you have to use the ultrasound to, fi find, uh, to find them, cut them open with the scalpel, and then use your zappy gun to stop them. Destroy the, the core! Yeah, basically, um, well that, well Shoot the radioactive super cores! <laughs> Well, no, the one with the radioactive super core is way later in the game. That takes, like, an entire chapter just to figure out how to deal with that one. God damn. Now they're just fucking with you. Yeah. Uh, when you see that specific, um... Uh, I wasn't trying to do the... <laughs> I'm trying to do the middle one. <laughs> Shut up, I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the, the first game has kind of inaccurate uh, suturing. That's the only issue with the control. It gets fixed in New Blood for the most part, so yay. Um, but when you see that specific, like, a star shape, um, of, uh, cuts, that means that the, the, you, you're on the last one, and it takes, like, three, uh, zaps in order to get them. So, yeah. Dun-dun-dun! Guilt? Yeah. Guilt. Oh, wait, no, it was all capitalized, so is that an it's abbreviation for Gangalo something? I know T stands for toxin. Um... <laughs> It's, 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 it's techno battle. They just want to call it guilt. Nice so, work, Dr. Styles. Excuse it's me, I'm going to go change my pants. <laughs> it's symbolic. <laughs> they're, I think, they're all named after Days of the Week in, uh, Greek, I think. So, the, that was Kiriaki, which I think is Sunday, if I remember correctly. Uh, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing Kiriaki wrong, but that's just how I've always said it. So that's how I'm always going to say it. So is Sarah they all working for the weekend? <laughs> Um, <laughs> sure, why not? It's Friday when we're recording this, so, yeah. <laughs> Woo, hey! And, yeah, oh, oh, wait, never mind. I thought we were going to do the, um, the Z mission, but no, like, it looks like we're learning about Caduceus instead. Plot. Uh, plot. Yeah, parasites, parasites, yeah. okay, okay, parasites. Parasites, yeah. They, aliens. <laughs> well, they're, they're not really aliens, but... You know, we can call them aliens, because it's funnier that way. So, um, like, we figure out more, like, where it comes from and whatnot later, but, um, there was some foreshadowing earlier where you figure out that Andrew's father did stuff with guilt, and then we're gonna learn more about that, too, because, you know, this game's plot is not entirely subtle, like, at all. But well, we just saw what guilt stood for there, but... Ganga low something, something, something toxin. I, it's not important. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it really... I don't think it... Hold on, I need to look this up, because if I remember correctly, guilt, trauma... I don't think it just stands for anything in the original um, in the original Japanese version, and they added that bullshit uh, for the... For because the, it confused the fuck out of everyone. Yeah, hold on. Guilt is um, an artificial disease. Yeah, um... Um, hold on. I, I need a trivia. Uh... Guilt, despite being fictional, is based off several parasites in real life. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll believe that. Whatever. Okay, sure. <laughs> it, okay. It looks like I, I'm wrong though. I thought that it was. I thought that it they didn't. It didn't stand for anything in the original Japanese. But I guess it all. I, I can't confirm that, so I'm gonna say take that with a, a grain of salt. Because you know I might be misremembering something I read on TV Tropes three years ago. So, yeah. Apparently uh, there's medical terrorism going on. Where so it's like of, so it, so it's like some kind of bioweapon. Yeah, the well, greater good. <laughs> kinda instead of, because 
terrorists are totally going to use expensive uh, expensive viruses when you know bullets are cheaper and easier. And well, biological bullets warfare are homemade is, a, is a real thing. Well, yeah. Bi yeah, well, well, biological warfare is good when you have like something that can be released in a gas that can like fill up a room or something. Well, isn't it supposedly banned by the Geneva Convention and such? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're a terrorist, warfare. you don't care. You don't well, care I know, I know. Geneva I'm just saying. Convention. Um, and, I, and, I, and I know that's not stopping our countries from doing any research on the stuff. Yeah. It just uh, it just it, it depends on what resources you've got, and terrorists are generally uh, more slapped together organizations, I guess you could say, in terms of what they've got to work with, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Well, I, like, I'm not speaking as an expert on the subject or anything. <laughs> well, like a generic terrorist will. Probably... Is there something you're not telling us, Lewis? <laughs> Uh, that I fail at research, maybe? <laughs> you know what to totally do, wrong. NSA. We know you're listening. <laughs> well, we, we later figure out that the group that's using guilt is more like a cult than a terrorist organization. Well, it's not really a cult, but it feels more like a cult than a terrorist organization. So, you know, they're mostly insane. So that's the excuse there. Like, a, like your generic... I can't believe I'm saying generic terrorist group. But most <laughs> terrorist groups, I suppose would uh, just stick with bullets because you know that's easier. what's the reasoning for doing all this um for releasing guilt that's that's spoilers man oh that's... is it legalized marijuana um no are we getting into Roswell ghoul territory where they just want to cleanse the earth um uh, no it's 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 kind of complicated it's okay. we'll, I'll, we'll I'll wait explain until it we'll, when we'll, it becomes yeah. plot important we'll, we'll, when it comes plot important we'll see then there Okay, but uh, okay. okay. Now we've got a, a, an operation on a on a heart patient, a heart operation, which I hate because you, it just basically makes you stop what you're doing every ten seconds to use the defibrillator, which you know pisses me off because you know there's nothing worse than getting uh, than you know tr almost getting through something and then having to stop to you know do that all the time. Was yeah. It, what, did you, what did you just dislodge from the heart? Was that a penny? Uh, it no, it was, was a, a valve. It was a valve. Yeah, the, the, I the put surgery's it on a, there. The, the surgery is a valve replacement. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, and even though I put the valve in, it's still um. Oh, uh, well, I was about to say it's still having uh, heart problems. Uh, oh, oh, come on! It's not like your heart's cut open or anything, Jesus. You <laughs> suck it up, you baby. Okay, so I think that was, yeah, we like operated on like a little girl or whatever. It was a good thing all these patients are mannequins. Yeah. <laughs> well, I couldn't like put, they couldn't put nipples there because otherwise they'd, they'd be like an M game for sure. But you know, in I think it's uh what in the trauma team they just conveniently put um uh, uh like uh, uh, like cloth around any potentially that, naughty bits. That um, was what they did last time, actually. Uh, oh, okay. Well, so, yeah. like cross bandages well, we were, nipples. When we were, when we well, were, no, they uh, just. Uh, they like they position the cloth so it covers anything potentially. Um, yeah, when we were when the operations on Reed happened, uh, there was a blanket that just covered the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. It wasn't. Okay. It wasn't. It, Trauma Team was the game I played last. Um, I recorded this like uh, back in October, I think. A so, long time. Yeah. It's well, been a while. It, it's been a while. So now, um. Okay, so now we learn uh, that Derek's parents are dead. Or at least his dad is dead. We never really learn what happened to his mom. But I'm going to assume just, she's dead, too, so I can go, My parents once. are dead. Just once, I'd like to see a protagonist in one of these games who's got two perfectly healthy parents that don't die within the first hour of the game. Pokemon Gen 3. <laughs> uh, Chrono Trigger and Chrono's mom is still alive. Not Nothing about the dad, though. Yeah. In well, Pokemon Gen One, it's implied his it, red status. It, it, it's still alive, kind of but... it's kind of a thing in JRPGs where the where the protagonist only ever has one parent. <laughs> well, yeah, because if they have healthy movies. parents, they'll they'll stop them from going on adventures. We can't have that. That's boring. Don't they bring that up in Earthbound? <laughs> well, no, she's uh, just really upset that you're walking around in your pajamas. Yeah, true. <laughs> in Earthbound, uh, actually, you do have a father. He's on the phone. Yeah. He gives you money every time you level up. Yeah. <laughs> And in, Gen and in Pokemon Gen 3, both parents are around. They don't, uh, no, Gen 6 doesn't have a dad. Um, no. In Gen 1, Red's dad is implied to still be around. Well, uh, like, I think it's like if you examine something in Saffron or Celadon City, it says something about his dad. Um, 
But, you know, it's nothing too specific. I'm tr- no, but it just implies that he's still alive, so... I'm trying to think of another RPG, uh, JRPG i played where both of the parents are still alive, and I'm really starting to come up blank. Um, it's actually really hard to, because I'm trying to think of something too, and I, I'm drawing a blank as well. Um, no, uh, the, the, all the Dragon Quest games, uh, the parents are either dead or die. Um, fuck, this is really bothering me. I need to think of another one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in any case, we're back playing as what's her name again? Um, well, her her alias is uh, something Weaver, but her real name's Naomi Kimishima, and we figure. And spoiler alert: she helps the bad guys for a while. Um, this is her healing touch mission, where we get at, from this point on we get access to her healing touch, which is more magicy than Derek's is. Like it'll automatically heal patients anytime you do so... anything. She helps the bad guys for a little bit, then she gets inflicted with guilt? No, she doesn't get inflicted with guilt. She just becomes a good guy. Was more... that a pun? Yes. Uh, oh, good job, John. I'm proud of you. Wait, oh. the pun master didn't get that? No, I didn't. Well, maybe you're not so different from a pun master I thought you were. Well, I'm revoking your brain scratch privileges. Temporarily. Oh. oh. Okay, well, I guess sight. I'll leave now. Have fun commentating over Trauma Center without me. <laughs> So yeah, this oh. is the part where you suck the blood out through a city straw, right? Well, sort of. Uh, these are weird tumors. In order to extract them, you need to get rid of all the little nubs on all of them off at once before you take the, the tumors off the, the the body. Otherwise, they'll just grow back, so you don't want to do that. They also suck your vitals down like a son of a bitch. So yeah, we've got four of them right now, so she's going to use her healing touch. This power took away her life. Oh no. Oh, this guy has a severe case of the coral reef. Yeah. So. Oh, I do have an idea maybe on the RPG parents thing. What? What is that? Persona 3 and 4. Are the parents around? Or at least mentioned. Yeah, you you, you live with your uncle in Inaba. Uh, in uh, you, you live with your uncle in Inaba in 4, and your parents are off overseas doing work, which is yeah, why so you're... Yeah, they might as well be dead. Yeah, well, at least, no, no, well, at least it mentions they're alive. Can I actually talk... The, uh, yeah, the, um, at the end, the, the, at, during the ending, you actually go back to live with your parents, so that's why you're not Nineveh anymore. In, uh, three, they're dead. They're just, they died in the accident that started the whole plot. Okay, so, so yeah. at least in one of the personas, sir, the parents are alive. <laughs> if we're just talking about whether or not they're alive or not, then it counts, but, uh, if they're away on a business trip and they don't mean anything until the ending, they might as well be dead, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. <sighs> wait, okay. uh, wait, they die? Uh, the, the, the the parents die in Persona 3? I don't I thought they were... Oh, okay, well, I probably didn't play it long enough to figure out that they had died. So, eh. Whatever. I think it's mentioned, um... Actually, at the very beginning when you first joined the school. Oh, alright. Okay, well, it's been, like, two years since I tried playing Persona 3, so... Um, yeah. It's not surprising that I forgot about that. Yeah, oh, wait, Kingdom sort of... Hearts! Doesn't uh, Sora have a mom uh, and dad? He yep. has a mom, a you hear her from and we never hear her again. <laughs> yeah, you hear her from off-screen while he's in his room. Yeah, there we go. That counts. <laughs> no, and no, then the entire world gets <laughs> swallowed up by the darkness about yeah, well, uh, yeah, 30 well, minutes okay, in. Think about how many movies where the, the main character's parents are really all that important. Mm. Sora's whole island gets swallowed up by darkness and he never looks back. <laughs> doesn't seem to care. Nope, he really doesn't. Well, he wanted to leave to begin with, so, you know. No, that, that was Riku. Me. Oh. No, Sora wanted to leave with Kai- Kairi on. Sora was bored. Sora was bored. Okay. <laughs> Riku. Riku had to legitimately get out of the damn island. What about. Ka- Kairi wanted to leave too, didn't Kairi was along for the ride. She was there to make a seashell necklace and she got dragged along in it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get the Kingdom Hearts soon. <laughs> there, Ryan can make all the raspberries he wants. <laughs> not, not yet, Ryan. Too soon. 